Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see the reasons why some company names are showing in your iPhone storage list that also consumed some storage space in your iPhone. When you navigate to settings, general iPhone storage, we see all the list of applications that consumes the disk storage space in your iPhone or iPad. If there is any problem in viewing this iPhone storage, like if it got stuck, I have a separate video tutorial made. I'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment as well. You can follow those troubleshooting steps to fix the problem and you can see the list of applications and the storage consumption in your disk space in your iPhone and iPad. When you scroll to the bottom or to at some area, you can see WhatsApp Inc, Apple Inc, Google LLC, Instagram Inc, and you know some other application could possibly be there. You won't be able to delete the data. Here you can see the iNet Tools application that shows that you can offload the app or delete the data. But in Google LLC, the company name that present here that clearly sees that it occupies some storage like 22.3 MB, but you cannot delete or offload that space. So here the Instagram Inc, once again, the company name presence there that shows the documents and data storage space as 19.2 megabytes consumed in your iPhone disk space. Recently, one of my audience have raised this question and I was kind of confused while checking with my iPhone storage list as well. He was facing kind of, you know, like more than one GB space occupied for his WhatsApp. And in my case, the WhatsApp didn't consume that specific WhatsApp Inc storage space. Here you can see the Apple Inc that shows 11.6 MB is consumed. And below the Apple Inc, you can see the data shared by two applications. Then after doing some little research, I understood that if you are using an application from a company, like if you are using Facebook, then Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp, you know, all the applications may have its separate data shared space and some documents and data stored in your iPhone or iPad. The thing is, like if there are multiple apps when we install it, you know, some companies use the iOS default methods of sharing using some space in your iPhone disk storage and, you know, Know, it has to be listed to show you that which application is using or sharing the data with other application it, even though it is not in a full detail like which applications are sharing here in google llc i can say that i have installed google photos app google drive app and several other google related applications like adsense analytics youtube youtube uh, studio related apps so all these apps kind of share some data within themselves either for advertising purposes that could you know run with your permission of course and for sharing the data within the apps itself in the case of whatsapp i can see that only the whatsapp is consuming certain space and i don't see whatsapp inc in my iphone if you are seeing whatsapp inc in your iphone possible explanation is you must be using whatsapp as a regular version and the whatsapp business application also installed in your iphone so that will create a shared space of whatsapp inc without any proper icon you know at the bottom or you may see based on the total storage that you normally download and use the whatsapp with the shared space of whatsapp inc will also consume some space in your iphone so that is absolutely normal and this is the reason why the company names are taking some space in your iphone and if you ask me how to delete and free up the space the only option is to delete the app itself like even deleting one app will not free up the space based on the usage it naturally you know the size will fluctuate automatically like it increases sometime if you delete some media attachments in your whatsapp or instagram application then automatically the data shared between the applications can also be reduced other than that as an additional tip to maintain your iphone storage i have a video about some of the best hand-picked cloud storage apps that you can use to offload some static data like photos videos other than the iCloud storage if you want to use any third-party cloud storage so do check that out i'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment as well it may be helpful to you and for more useful iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you and have a wonderful day